Hello, peeps. So, perfume. Scented candles. Scented um, air fresheners. Makeup. Lotions. Soaps. Um, what else? There's, there's so many things that um, every day we're around that we're not realizing the effect it's happening on our body. Our body literally is medicine and the earth that we live on is medicine. Um, and self-care is literally like a daily thing. The more I've learned to listen to spirit in my body, the, the more battles I have of like, damn, I just want to be human and eat junk food or, and I'm not even a big junk food eater. When I say junk food, I say like two slices of pizza, right? Like I don't eat candy. I don't drink sugary drinks. I, none of that. Never have. Um. But yesterday I was like, dude, I want, I want a pastry. Like, I want a powdered donut or cookie. I don't even like that stuff. So I went to the bakery. I spent $56. Didn't even get anything. It was just like, I was like, all right, what does my body really need? Because I've been getting these bursts of intense fatigue. And yesterday, it like, put me down. Like, I couldn't function. And it I'm sitting there, I'm asking my body, I'm asking spirit, like, what do you need? And then I had this really effed up dream. Now, let's be real. Once I, at one point in the dream, I was trying to go to the bathroom and there was like two outhouses next to each other, but like they weren't separated. It was just like two open toilets. And one on the left, by the way, our left side's our feminine side. The left toilet was covered. I opened up the lid packages wrapped packages like UPS packages and like and it was shining gold and white and I was like well I don't want to go to the bathroom on packages so I opened up the right side the right toilet it was covered in pee and um defecations and it, to the brim and in my dream I'm literally like trying to find a little spot to wipe off to go to the bathroom on all right the right side of us is masculine so I always do dream interpretation after. So I'm sitting there interpreting the entire dream, which there was a lot before the bathroom, but the bathroom was the most significant because my, I, I was telling myself in my dream, yo, you're full of shit. If you think that your gifts, your packages, your information is not meant to be delivered to the world, but also you're literally full of shit. You're full of toxins from years and years and years of disservice. You can't just do one detox and think it's okay because every day you're still surrounded by polluants and um, like toxins, right? Which is the air fresheners. I've literally switched them all over to, a, to natural scents anyways, but like um, they're like, just think about all of the toxins you're taking in. Also energetic toxins. And when you're purging releasing energies of emotions and behaviors and thoughts that's also needs to process through your body so you need to really get in check the internal toxins in order to fully be that clear channel for you because you can be clear for everybody else but now it's time to like be super clear for you so I'm like all right so I'm looking over my medical medium books that I have and if you don't have any, get them. They're incredible. But I just spent $200 at the store buying wild blueberries, fresh aloe, um, and celery. Like, I don't even know. I even bought this, like, clear mind kombucha. Kombucha, guys, you shouldn't be drinking that much. I don't drink it ever. But this one has the least amount of um, vinegar in it. So that's why I got it. But, um, yeah, I just went, went ham on, um, I just went ham. <laughs> I didn't get ham. I just went hard on buying all natural, um, stuff. And I even just bought a plant that's in my car. And I'm literally going to detox. I'm, because my brain is filled with ideas, but also filled with shit. It's filled with toxins. And... I were, um, 
our our world has like as in earth has literally our medicine for us it, it's not given in a pill like I even stopped on caffeine because I realize I'm addicted to adrenaline because I used to take Adderall for 10 years and drink energy drinks so now when I don't do anything I'm like alright I'm gonna have some green tea but also that we gotta be careful about right because our body is craving the adrenaline the rush so it's affecting our adrenals which is affecting our brain which is affecting our vagus nerve. So I was just walking in the grocery store and I, my eyes, it was like these like balls came behind my eyes of pressure, like go to sleep. But it was because my brain is so um, tired of all of the toxins coming in. So even though I've been eating healthier, I've been working out, I've been really listening to my body and doing work, now it's like another layer of self-care in order for me to bring these packages, this left feminine, like, power into the world in a safe way, right? Because it's not safe to just work, work, work in order to push past how you're feeling and how your body is feeling in order just to bring something out in the world, right? You have to have a balance of, like, you being ready, but also you being fully clear and feeling healthy. Because if you're just doing 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 and being in this very male dominant role bringing your ideas out but you're you're literally neglecting what your body's telling you then that energy is also going into your work right i want to be a very clear hollow bone centered loving energy when i'm writing my book when i'm making my workshops like that's what i want and that's what i've realized that is also why I've been stalling. Procrastination is a trauma response and brain fog, adrenal fatigue, compassion fatigue, legit. So I just felt like sharing that with everybody because we're all human um, and we're all healing layer by layer by layer. There is not one way to do it. It's like whole body, mind, spirit, right? Whole, whole thing. So I got some plants to put into my space. Some in the trunk. Already some in my house. I just got a bunch of water, steel oats, and a bunch of stuff. Um, so I'm about to go make me some uh, detox shots. And clear my shit up. Love you. <laughs>